So I'm gonna put my Rainbird hat on for a minute. See what I did there, DK? I've done a video on these valve boxes before, but I don't think they get enough love. Rainbird are a very progressive irrigation company. They don't go to market with a product unless they're really happy about it. And um, they decided that the valve box market didn't have, I guess, sufficient development as far as they were concerned. So they went back and their people have designed a valve box that meets, I guess, a lot more requirements and probably requirements that people didn't really know that they had. So I'm just gonna go through a bit of the, a few of the features that this Rainbird, this is a 14, 19, 12 commercial green, so um, potable or drinking water. So this is the valve box. Uh, it comes with a lid. We, we sell them as a recycled water or a lilac lid or with a green lid. They come with a bolt, so uh, most of these are being installed in public areas and the bolt's there to, to stop any um, vandalism or theft. They don't have to have the bolt, so if you have a look there, there's a knock out there that you can that you can hit and um, add, add the bolt to it. But if you don't want to have the bolt feature there and you're just putting it in an area that's low risk, there's not the hole there already. So a lot of other commercial valve boxes will have a hole there regardless. And then you've got that water ingress concern when you're watering. So the valve box becomes full of weeds and debris. To get the valve box lids off once they're in the ground, there's this slot here that's designed for you to put a spade or a shovel in and lift it up. So um, for anyone out there that's installing or um, maintaining valves inside these boxes, you would have experienced how difficult it is to pop a lid from an existing box when there's grass growing right around it. Makes it nice and easy. The actual box itself has quite a large footprint, you'll see there. And so that's gonna make it less likely to drill itself into the ground when it's been driven over by a vehicle. It has a dual purpose as well. These valve boxes are designed to be stacked on top of each other. So if you have a look, I've got another valve box here. This, if I get it right first time, there's only two ways that this can go on and I didn't get it right first time. So if you have a look there, those two, they've stacked inside each other. And if you wanted to, you could probably pop some tech screws through there to hold them together, but you've got a nice deep valve box. So if you've got an area where the valve is quite deep in the box, uh, deep in the ground, but you still need to get that ground level here, this is, this is the way to do it. They come with these knockouts. So you could have four solenoid valves, three solenoid valves, or in a commercial case, you might have one big pipe, so a 50 mil PVC running through with a sole valve in the middle. These you knock off with a hammer or with your hand, and then they actually have a little bit on the back. So what you see, you, these knockouts, they're on all sides. There's four on one side, three on the other side, and then obviously the one and the one. I really should have my rainbow hat on for this. These, these are pretty cool hats, DK. I can get you one of these, I'll hook you up. So they've got that little shaft there that slides back down here. So you, you pull that off and then it slides back down. So you can get it quite low on top of the pipe that's gone through the hole. And then you have some, a small hole there, but then all you do is wrap some plastic around that, tape it up. And the idea is that it stops dirt from coming into the valve box. So too many places you'll see valve boxes that have been dug, that they, they cut the shit out of it. They'll, they'll slice everything off just to get it over the top, just to get it level with the, the gra finished grass level, just to appease, a, a, I guess, someone that's walking past and looking. But underneath, nothing good's been done. So you've got um, like grass and loam and roots all coming into the valve box because it hasn't been installed well. So these can be installed either directly on the ground, they can be put onto bricks. So some councils, we've got a council that we deal with who refuses to let people use concrete and brick slabs underneath. Then we've got other councils that love it and you know every spec's got bricks and the concrete slab. So that's really up to the council. There's pros and cons for either. Um, the I think the guys that don't like the concrete slabs uh, want to be able to twist the valves out and they find that if they have to dig down they can't because there's concrete there it does keep it nice and neat but you can also do that by putting uh, half a bag of gravel or aggregate in the bottom of the box it just keeps it nice and neat um, so yeah that's that this lock bolt here so if you have a look here so this piece of metal slides onto there and it gives that a thread and then you knock this here out so you'll hit it with a with the bolt and a hammer or um, you could drill it out, but it's designed to be knocked out. And obviously this is closed at the moment. And then once you've knocked it out, you'll bolt that down, tighten that up. So obviously they're not vandal completely proof, but if you want to come and steal a valve or access this box, you need to bring a, a ratchet or a spanner. So if you really want to get in there, I guess you can. Um, 
as I mentioned, these, these come in green or lilac, so lilacs to identify recycled water. They also come in different sizes. And you'll find as well, once you get up to that really super maxi jumbo, I think, the pricing for their competitive competing valve boxes, you're looking at five, six hundred dollars for a valve box. These guys might be three fifty to three eighty because um, I, I guess it's it's a supply and demand thing. They're such a big player in the world. These they're able to bring, and this is another thing that's amusing. It's not amusing. It's kind of sad. We're able to buy these valve boxes cheaper in Australia than some of the Australian manufactured ones, and they come from the US. Now, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I don't buy from outside of South Australia or Australia without good reason. And again, this is another product similar to the Zeri Bug, which we made that video on, that's got, it's so feature rich and price competitive, you can't ignore it. These are available here at our store, waterpro.com.au. I think that um, another thing that's really important to highlight is that in most cases, buying two of these will cost the same as buying a Carson valve box, which I think are over-specified into the market. It's unbelievable how something like a Carson valve box gets added to a spec at council level and it stays there for five years and no one asks any questions. These are really good box, really strong. Uh, Rainbird bring them in across the country so you can buy them anywhere in, in Australia. You don't have to buy them from WaterPro, but I just think it was really important to highlight the quality of these boxes, the features of the boxes, so that I guess you're more informed to make decisions around what you're putting in in your areas. So yeah, thank you very much. Again, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if, you, uh, if you're interested in our videos. Like and share, comment below. If you've got any questions, I'd love to hear from you.